Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I was going to show you guys some of the code from the most recent changes to PTS. So this is what some of that looks like. So this is for the new crane. And I don't understand a lot of this as probably none of you guys do either. But some of these things, like uh, on the left is the old one. The right is the updated version. So on the left we got, you know, Motor Force 22,000, Motor Force 80,000. Um, you can see some of these other things, Motor Force 12,000, Motor Force 50,000. Um, I, I don't exactly know what all of them mean, but, you know, basically they increase the power. And, uh, yeah, I'll just scroll through some of this stuff. And this is where I got all of the information from the last uh, video where I said I data mined for the... Kenworth 963. So I knew it was a crane, but I didn't exactly know which crane because I don't know my way around here very well. But here's where it says UI add-on big crane US02. Um, I think somewhere down in the bottom uh, it said the price, but oh, here we go. Price. So it used to be 7500 on the left. They changed it to 9400 here on the right. And so that is how I found some of this data that I was able to provide you guys with. And we should be able to do and we should be able to do this going forward because I have a general understanding. It's not deep, trust me. It's very shallow, but um, I at least kind of know how to look for some things on here. So. Yeah, this is the big crane. So here, if we look at the Kenworth wheels, so these are the base wheels for the Kenworth. So they changed from an off-road template of heavy to an off-road template of super heavy. Now, I don't know what the difference is between heavy and super heavy as far as weight goes, but I know they are heavier. And then they took out all of this center stuff here. Uh, it looks like they changed the price. Oh, no, the price didn't. Oh, because I searched for price in the last one. That's why. Um, but yeah, so this middle part and the wheels, that's all that changed. So here's the values for the tires. You know, you got asphalt rating of 1.6, body friction, which is basically like dirt or rocks or, you know, kind of surface level stuff. And then we got substance friction, or excuse me, substance friction, which is snow or mud. So these didn't change from the Kenworth wheels from the from this one to the last one. And then here we got the Mac Defense wheels. So as you can see on the left, we had a body friction of 2.2 and a body friction asphalt of 1.2 and then a substance friction of 1.5. And now that's changed to 2.8, so that's up 0.6. This one is the same. They just took out a zero from 1.20 to 1.2. And then we got a substance friction increase from 1.5 to 1.8. The price stayed the same. So this is how I figured out if you unlock it by exploring. It says unlock by, unlock by exploration false. So that means it's not going to be found out in the world. And uh, yeah, here's some of the names, stuff like that. So here we are on the Mac Defense. This is the engines. So as you can see on the left, we had 220,000 torque or 220,500, I guess, technically. And that has changed to 232,000. So we got a little bump in torque on the middle engine. The top engine stayed the same, or I should say the bottom engine, technically. Um, 176,500, so that one stayed the same. And it looks like this bottom one went from 232,000 before to 222,000, so it actually went down by 10,000. That's a little interesting. I don't know why they would really change that. Uh, I guess maybe, I mean, it doesn't really matter which, which engine has the most power, right? As long as there's one of them. So this one is the, the highest price, but it looks like it actually has less torque according to this data right now. Um, price is 24,000 on both. That didn't change. 19,700 on both. That didn't change. And then up here we got 15,000 for both. And all of these engines say false for finding them in the game. And then if we look at the Kenworth en engines, basically nothing really changed here. 
but we got a price of 16,000. That's the same unlocked by exploration. For some reason, this says true and this says false, but they're actually flipped from what I heard. I actually haven't I haven't picked up this upgrade yet to find out if that's if this is the one we actually get or if it is this one. But for the torque, yeah, we have 175 on both of these with a price of 5700. The unlock by unlock by exploration is false on both. Then we have 190,000 in the middle engine, price of 13,000. Find by exploration is true. And then we have the last engine. It looks like the fuel consumption went down from 12.2 to 12.0. And instead of the truck being named, or engine, I guess, technically, being named U.S. Truck Old Engine Kenworth 963, it's U.S. Truck Old Heavy Engine ten Kenworth 963. And same torque, 253,000. Yeah, 16,000 price, unlocked by exploration, false. And then I'll quick show you guys, this is the truck. So this is the Mac Defense. And if we scroll down here, everything highlighted in yellow is stuff that has changed. So um, as you see here, for the winch upgrade socket, its default was heavy trucks default. And now it's changed to medium trucks default. So its winch got a little bit... Um, little bit less strong I think I can't I don't even know that for sure because it should say somewhere in all these numbers but I don't know exactly how to read them all so um, yeah that's probably what all this anything highlighted is changes So yeah, you guys can feel free to pause it at any point during this because it's a uh, bunch of random stuff. I don't know if any, I don't know if some of this stuff um, matters, but I would assume it all matters because there'd be no point in putting it in if it didn't. But then if we go to the Kenworth, if you see on the left, this is just completely blank. That's because there was nothing, no data in the game for the Kenworth. Obviously, they added the truck, so all of this data is now in the game. And they probably had it before, they just didn't have it in the game files yet, so there was nothing to be seen. That's why we could see some of the add-ons on the truck, but not all of them, because they had added some of them in the previous update to the game. But yeah, again, this is all the truck stuff, so... You know, we got the wheel type, um, suspension, got all kinds of stuff in here, guys. I don't think there's really too much information that we would care about in here, because this is more for, like, mods and moving stuff around, but... Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys. Here's, you know, it's got the stick stickers and stuff like that on where they would go on the frame. So yeah, Kenworth stickers, roof, roof, roof. Uh, here's got the spare wheels, the saddle height, log lift crane. All kinds of stuff, guys. Again, I don't really know my way around here very well, so if there is something you guys want to want me to look for, I can do that, but I might not be able to find it right away. I'm pretty new with it. It looks like they did change a little bit of stuff on the uh, semi-trailer with a fishing boat, or whatever you want to call it. Maybe they added a few winch points. That might be what this is. I'm not exactly sure. And then if we look at the gearboxes, there was a little change in the Mac Defense gearbox. And it looks like this was for the, well, it says Colop, but uh, that, that must be like the placeholder uh, gearbox. But uh, it's, its angular velocity got changed from 5 to 8 for a uh, high gear, I should say. Fuel modifier, 1.8, that stayed the same. And then it also got an all-wheel drive consumption modifier, so it went from 1.1 to 1.15, so it consumes slightly more fuel when you have it in all-wheel drive in this specific gearbox. And then we got a few changes to the 
Kenworth 963 as far as suspension goes. And again, I don't really know how to understand most of this stuff, but we got damping change from 0.3 to 0.8. We got a height change from 0.2 to 0.15. Strength change from 0.12 to 0.08. And we got another damping change in the suspension from 0.85 to 0. Also from 0.001 to 0 and 0.99 to 0. And then broken suspension from 0.001 to 0 and then suspension max from 0.01 to 0. So the way I understand this is that if you break your suspension now, it's the same height as if you weren't, if you didn't break it. Um, I could understand that totally wrong, but that's the way I see it. And it looks like the price of these suspension would cost 6,200, but of course there's only one suspension type, so we can't really buy it or, you know, sell it and then buy it back or whatever, you know what I mean? Because you have to at least have one. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, there's all kinds of files that you probably don't have any interest in seeing. You know, zones, winches, um, well, I'm just going to name them off. Wheels, weather, water, trucks, terrain layers, suspensions, sounds, skies, plants, particles, overlays, mud, models, media data types, grass, gearboxes, ENV, not sure what that's, environment maybe, I don't know. Uh, engines, editor, driver, slash character, or underscore characters, daytimes, customization presets, cargo types, cameras, ambience, add-ons category. There's all kinds of stuff and these folders just expand and expand. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in here that would not really be of interest for you guys, but I just wanted to kind of show that. And then this one is stuff that you guys will actually see in the game. So the kind of the left is how they read it or whatever in the in the game's code but then this is what shows up in the parentheses so you guys will see assistance to civilization but over here this is how they you know in the code know what it is um, so all again all the highlighted ones are the ones that changed and you guys can see the changes so from dispatch zone it went to oil rig for plant construction it's changed to plant um, service center for the drilling station got changed to oil rig warehouse Warehouse construction changed to corporate construction site, and they have a whole bunch of these. Um, basically, just naming the missions. Let's see if we can find one. Like I, I actually did these ones: road artery one and road artery two. It's just road artery instead of road artery one, and then road artery two got changed to the coastal frustration. Garage construction got changed to garage construction site, and uh, yeah, I don't want to bore you guys, but. Just wanted to show off some of the some of the in-game code, and it looks like they've added some more text for the uh, mission for the Mac Defense. Here's some more code for the different missions here. Looks like Short Circuit Two got changed to De-Energized Coast. And now we got deliver to the roadblock, and they changed it to deliver to the landslide on the road. Yeah, I wanted to give you guys kind of a little update, basically a surface level update, because again, I don't really know what I'm looking for all that much on here, but I uh, wanted to give you guys a little update, some of the, I mean, yeah, I'll just say some of the changes, buffs, nerfs, whatever, whatever happens. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a few of the changes, and yeah, hopefully you guys found it useful. I don't know if you guys are really going to like this video. It's something different from what I normally make, but I figured why not? It's kind of news-related. It's stuff that's happening in the game, so a little different than normal, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel, and odds are if you guys like this type of content, you guys like content that I've made in the past, and also will like content that I will make in the future. So, as always, stay tuned till the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.